Yo everybody, it's International Master Danny Wrench, and today we have a bullet brawl. I am playing against Bragadze, International Master Bragadze, from Baltimore, the Baltimore Kingfishers of the U.S. Chess League. I'm using his account to play a little bullet today, and we'll see how I can fare against this very strong, higher-rated opponent while uh, while talking here. Let's let's do our best, and let's root for Danny, shall we? Root for the underdog. We all know you want to, because you will not survive if you don't. You have, if you have no fear of the underdog. Reference, Spoon reference, everybody loves Spoon. They really do, because they're a great band. I'm not sure that this overextension is actually the best by me, but I'm going to do it anyway and go take that pawn and then defend. A little nervous, actually, about my, my choice, but I'm going to keep some pieces on the board and back this thing up. And maybe actually, ooh, I did not expect that. Sacrificing the exchange, huh? Something I'm just missing about this? Exchange sacrifice to be super killer for him? I don't know. I guess that's not a bad idea for him. Well, I might as well just actually just sacrifice it and go into an opposite colored bishop situation. The thing I'm worried most about is, is my time. Oh, gosh. And the fact that I just keep making blunders. But okay, he actually didn't see that one. But my time is... Something I usually have trouble with against the stronger against the stronger opponents in these bullet brawls, keeping up the pace, as they say. Okay, well not exactly sure what he's doing either right now. Okay, I guess I can actually trade queens and keep the B pawn going. Oh no, I can't. I'm just gonna lose the B pawn now, and with it likely the game. But okay. I'm just gonna resign this being down on time here, and actually in a tough spot, considering my uh, my opponent's strength, but I'm going to rematch this thing. I'm not just going to give up so easily, right? This isn't my first bullet ball rodeo. We'll see if I can keep up the pace, and, and if I can, okay, well, don't blunder. If I can keep up the pace on the clock, I don't feel like that game was really a great one for my opponent as far as the chess goes. Don't feel outmatched necessarily, but let's see what we can do here. Try to keep it light, keep it fresh. As I tweeted right before this bullet brawl recording started today, hardly in the mood for this right now, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Can I take on e7? I'll do it. I shall take on e7 because what the hey? Wait a second. Can he play this way? I don't know, actually, if he can play this way, but it was a surprising move, so probably a good one for him. Well, I'm going to take this guy. Not sure that it's going to win the exchange clearly, but it probably does something for me. A little bit of something. Well, I'm definitely winning as far as this position goes. We'll see if I can pull the magic together here and, and convert the victory as I would like to. Put a rook on the seventh rank, and if we can, let's uh, let's put some pressure on the f7 pawn next move. Well, he anticipates that, and so I'm going to force a trade of rooks, though, and with it, the game, and with it, likely a rubber match, actually. So we'll see. Well, he decides he's going to give me that pawn. I'm also up a lot on time here, so I'm not going to freak out and try to start pre-moving too much. I'm just going to start advancing here. And we take, and we shake and bake. Okay. Well, he resigned. We'll push this thing to a uh, rubber match. Again, outmatched opponent here, but hopefully I can I can take two out of three and shock even myself. I'm the least, I'm the most surprised when I play well, believe me. All of you are like, wow, he played well. Believe me, I'm the most surprised. All right. Well, I don't really know this structure as well as I would like, consistently getting into it in bullet. I need to figure out a better way to get openings I'm comfortable with in bullet. This is something I would like to work on. Notice how far I've come as a chess player now. I'm worrying about my skills in bullet rather than actual games, right? <laughs> shows you how, uh, shows you where my priorities are. Not in a good way, obviously. So, the worry is, hey, I wish I could find a way to get better positions in bullet chess. <laughs> right? That just shows you something. 
check yourself before you wreck yourself when your priorities become, man, I wish I could play better in Bullet. Probably, probably not on the right path as a chess player. But these days I hardly claim to be a chess player. Half man, half, uh, I don't know. What is going on here? I have no idea. I don't think this position has been that great for him, actually, but I've played as weird as he has, if not worse. So somehow I got myself into some kind of... Something really messy here. But I'm hoping against hope. I'm hoping against hope that I might... What can I do here? Can I... I don't know. I'm just losing on time, though. Just losing on time. Oh. And that doesn't help either. So, well, we'll take here. And again, just be losing on time here, most likely. Not quite the speed. Big difference when you're black or white actually playing against strong players. It's funny how that works out, even in bullet. But at this point, it doesn't matter. Losing on time and the position. And I will resign and... Today we will give a tip of the hat, wag of the finger, hope that uh, Stephen Colbert doesn't have that trademarked, and actually go ahead and just give this bullet brawl, best two out of three, to International Master Brigadzi. If you're not watching the U.S. Chess League on Tuesday and Wednesday nights over on chess.com, I'm not exactly sure what your problem is, but I recommend you you uh, ask your therapist about that this week and, and see what, what kind of intimacy issues you have with yourself, denying yourself that, that joy, so... All right, everybody, follow me on Twitter, uh, follow chess.com, and be awesome. See you around.